Welcome to Manifested Publishers. So remember we are talking about the causes of the first world war. So we have looked at uh, four of them. Now let us go to the fifth one, which is the first and second. The fifth one, which is the first and second. Moroccan crisis. The first and second Moroccan crisis. That is the next uh, course that we are going to discuss in our today's lesson. So when you talk of a crisis, it's a time when there is uh, uncertainty, when there is uh, a lot of decisions to be made. There is a lot of pressure that is going to happen. And I've said the word Moroccan comes from the word Morocco, which is a country. It comes from the word Morocco, which is a country in North Africa. In North West Africa. Yeah, there at the uh, at the peak of uh, of the African continent. You can check in your atlas. You'll be able to, f to locate the country Morocco. So uh, we are saying there there were two crises: the first and the second Moroccan crisis. So let us start with the first crisis. Which was the first crisis, or what is this, or which are these situations that we are seeing uh, resulted to uh, being uh, uh, a crisis? So uh, we, we are going to mention that um, the British, the British, and uh, the Italians, the Italians made an agreement. made an agreement made an agreement which they referred to as the onto cordial uh, let me get the correct spelling for you uh, the onto cordial Cordial. So in this uh, agreement, which they refer to as the Onto Cordial, uh, they decided among themselves, it was made in 1904, they decided among themselves that uh, British or Britain is going to take the territory of Egypt and then the Italians are going to occupy Morocco. That was an agreement among us themselves. But Germany, at the same point, had interest to take uh, opportunity, to, had interest to take in Morocco. So between the three countries, these two went first and made an agreement. So the interest that Germans had in Morocco was uh, thrown out. So they could not occupy Morocco as they wanted so uh germany became very upset germany became very upset and in in that they had a, a prime minister who was known as uh, william kaiser made uh, a, a telegram and sent to a mexican uh, uh, to mexico trying to tell them to come and fight that made uh, 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 the, the, the 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 british and the italians very startled because they, they saw that Germans were trying to start a war in between them. But uh, 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 this cooled off. They were able to, uh, to, 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 to understand each other. And they, 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 the war could not, be, uh, could not start at that time. But this still there was, uh, shows that there was still some wrangles in between the British, the Italians, and the, 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 the Germans. So when you talk of the second... Uh, the second crisis it is still happening in the same in the same uh, in the same uh, period in 1911 that is almost uh, uh, seven years later you find that uh, Germany 
was trying just to 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 to, to bring a uh, 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 this balance between the two powers sent a gunboat germany a german gunboat gunboat which was uh, referred to as uh, yeah remember at that time in military they have each boat has a name this boat was known as the panther this boat was known as the panther so they sent this boat to uh, to to the coast or to the port in morocco to protect their their their, their interest in morocco remember at that time the italians have gone into they have gone into into the inland but now the germans send a boat to uh, to, to to the to the to, to the to the port which is referred to as uh, as a, a agadir port yeah they send a boat to the agadir port agadir port to protect the, or to to safeguard their yeah, interest these angered the italians remember morocco is a territory for the italians but now we have the germans sending a gunboat right to the coast of morocco this is like they are trying to to, to upset the italians to a war so at that time the 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 the, 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 the wrangles between these two powers are continuing to be to be to, to be lifted up they are continuing to 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 uh, to continue existing or they are continuing to expand so that is about a uh, crisis so germany is at least trying to fight these people uh, the british and the italians and remember these two have made a pact they have made a an agreement so Germ german is c coming trying to uh, they are dislodge them or trying to fight against the two of them actually uh, uh, to, to towards or during this second crisis german demanded that even the 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 the, 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 the italians uh, should uh, be able to go and uh, uh, fight or the, the 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 italians and the french should go and fight against uh, or should relinquish their position in uh, congo so that they could be able to continue taking care of of morocco right yes so that is all about the moroccan crisis so if you are asked to describe how the moroccan crisis uh, uh fueled or led to the world war you have to mention how the the the, the british took uh, the uh, and the uh, and the it italians actually it's not the italians it is the french let me make a correction there it is the french it is the french it is the french it is the the french yeah the, 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 there is this bad blood between the British, French, and the Germans. So that is just part of the, the, the activities that are leading towards the, uh, the World War. Remember, I, I said, we said in our previous lesson, the, world, the First World War started in 1914 up to, 19, uh, to 1918. Remember, now we are talking of 1904. These are years before uh, the war started. So these are just activities or events that are leading towards the development of the first world war so that is uh, 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 all about uh, uh, the first and the second moroccan crisis so my dear lana let us look at our second last uh, cause of the world war that is nationalism nationalism of the Balkans nationalism of the Balkans that is our next our next uh, our next uh, point that we are going to discuss so when you talk of Balkans in Europe the countries we are talking about the British the French the Germans these were uh, uh, were being led by empires they had empires empires and i'm sure you have learned about this you learned about this in your 
in your form to work when you are looking at the African empires. You can remember we had the, the Shona Empire, right? Yeah, so an empire is a, 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 a rulership where we have different uh, languages or different communities coming together to form a union or coming to form together an empire being led by one ruler. So in Europe, we had uh, different empires. We had the Russian Empire. We had the we had the Russian Empire. We had the Russian Empire. We had the Russian Empire. In this Russian Empire, we had different uh, people. We had the Russian people. We had the Poles. We had uh, other peoples known as the Slavs. Yeah, we have examples of uh, people. We have the Poles. People refer to as the Poles. We had the Russians themselves. And then we have the Slavs, people we are referring to as the Slavs. We also had another empire which was known as Austro Austro Hungarian Empire. From this, we get the country we are referring to Austria Hungary. This was another empire. We also had the Ottoman. The Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire. This is, I'm sure you have also mentioned them. You mentioned them in your Form 1 work when you were looking at the Indian Ocean trade. This was a very, this was a very strong empire. The Ottoman Empire. We had the, the tax. Yeah. We had the tax. And then we had uh, the Balkans also uh, forming part of the, uh, of the Ottoman. We had the Hungarians. Right, we had the, the Romanians. All of them were part of the Ottoman, but they were majorly led by the Turks, or the people we refer to as the Turks. So the Balkans, who are also part of these empires, right? They started to want their own independence. They wanted to form their own empire. So they started uh, uh, to fight, or they started to uh, to make their stand known. So because uh, actually they were they, they were under the the, the Turkish or they were under the Ottoman Empire. So they wanted to start their own, their own empire or they wanted to stand on their own. So there was nationalism. Those people, there were radicals among them. They wanted to break away from this Ottoman Empire. The biggest reason for that was the Ottoman Empire was majorly Islam. They had Islamic religion which the, the Balkans did not ascribe to. So they d did not want to be led by, uh, by, 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 by Islamic practices. Remember, whenever there is a, 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 an Islamic ruler, you have to follow the Sharia laws. You have to, to, to have their own way of dressing. The Balkans did not want that. So they started to rise up against the Ottoman Empire. This was a point to show that they are, now this empire was being disintegrated. Even in, in these other empires, so there was some kind of nationalism rising in them, right, together. So that is how the nationalism of the uh, Balkans uh, brought about uh, a change in there, or it upset the powers that were having. Because now these ones were starting to disagree, because instead of uh, trying to fight against the others, now they have to go back to their home and find how they are uh, fighting against each other. Now, my dear Lana, I want us to go to our last, uh, our last uh, point, which is the most uh, significant one, as uh, we are going to discuss, which is about the assassination of assassination of the. Uh, we're going to look at the assassination number seven, which is the last cause. Not forget, uh, we are looking at the causes of the World War One or the First World War. So we are going to look at the assassination assassination of Franz Ferdinand Ferdi Ferdinand So when you talk of an assassination 
An assassination is a plot where somebody who is influential, especially leaders, are uh, killed so that they do not take their position of leadership. That is what we refer to as an assassination, where a leader is killed to prevent them or to take them from an influential position. So it has to be an elaborate plan. Normally it is done in secret so that nobody is known uh, or no, no one knows who is going to or who, the person who has assassinated. So when we talk of Franz Ferdinand, this was an heir. He was supposed to be the heir. The heir. Somebody who was supposed to take over the rulership of the uh, Austro, Austria. Austria. Hungarian Empire, or that or, or which came to be uh, the Austria-Hungary nation. So, Franz Ferdinand was supposed to be uh, the next ruler or the next leader of the Austria-Hungarian Empire. But uh, the Serbians, the Serbians through a secret society which was uh, the Serbians uh, organized a secret society which was known as Black Head. Black Head organized or made a plot. When this uh, uh, Franz Ferdinand, together with the wife, was coming to the, to, to, to the, to, to the southern side, which is also known as Bosnia, uh, they organized that when he came to inspect that uh, empire or that region, that they could assassinate him. Actually, he was assassinated together with his wife. So they paid or they, they, they organized some, uh, sa 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 someone to come and fight or someone to come and assassinate uh, the, 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 the heir of the Austrian Hungarian Empire. So they organized. This person was uh, the person they, they, they organized to come and, and, uh, and assassinate him was known as Ga Ga Gavrilo, right? This is uh, Gavrilo, Gavrilo uh, Princip. Gavrilo Princip. This was the person who was given the responsibility of assassinating Franz Ferdinand. Actually, this happened on the 28th. It happened on the 28th July 1914. This is the day when uh, the Franz Ferdinand, who was the heir who, uh, of the Austria-Hungarian Empire of or Austria-Hungary, you could call it that was assassinated. Remember, this is the next person who is supposed to be the leader because he's taking reins. You can even see he has come to inspect part of their empire. And now he is, he is done what? He is assassinated. So what that did, it is packed or it made Austria hungry because they had known they are Serbians and Serbians are, uh, are, uh, are part of uh, the Russians. They came and uh, accused them that now that you have, uh, d d you have made uh, or you have assassinated our, uh, our leader, you, they made several demands. They made demands. Let us look at what demands Austria's demand to Serbia. Austria's demand to Austria. So they made several demands to Serbia. So the first demand was uh, they had to uh, take away take away leaders whom Austria whom Austria objected to. So Serbians they had their own government. Now, 
the Austrians discovered that uh, Austria discovered that uh, the uh, the Serbians have organized the assassination of Ferdinand. So they made uh, an outrageous uh, demand that every leader whom Austria objected to being in leadership, the Serbians had to take him away from leadership. And then number two, Serbia was supposed to suppress. all societies or organizations a society can also be referred to as an organization Serbia was supposed to suppress all societies in Serbia so you can imagine somebody coming to uh, our nation and telling us we should dismantle every organization we have against the and uh, uh, against those people who are demanding us to uh, to, 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 to take away all those organizations. And now the third one, which actually was the cause or the, 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 was the spark that brought about the first, uh, the, the first World War was the nation of Austria demanded Austria demanded the Austrian police the Austrian police to be allowed to be allowed to enter Serbia to ensure these first two these first two demands have been met let me give bring this closer home you can imagine somebody has demanded in our nation that we take away all our leaders. All leaders who are opposed to that other nation, we have to take them away. And then we have to suppress every organization in our nation. I'm, I'm giving an example so that you could understand. And then we allow them to bring their police from their nation to come into our nation to ensure that the leaders who are, who are not allowed in power by that nation have been taken away and to ensure that all our societies have been suppressed. Would you allow that? So the Serbians decided not to allow. They, 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 they accepted the first two, but the third one they objected to. And because they objected to this uh, to, to demand, Austria declared war. We had Austria declared war. Austria declared war on the Serbians. Remember, Serbians are allies with or are part of Russia who have come together with Britain. Now, Austria is part of which were the, the, the which were the, 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 the companions of Austria-Hungary. We had French. And then we had Italy. So when Austria declared war, right? Obviously, the people whom or the countries that they had made uh, alliances with, remember we talked about formation of alliances, had to come to their aid. And this happened on the same day that the Ferdinand or the Archduke, who, who, who is the, the, the heir or the heir, was assassinated so these act as the spark these uh, cause we refer to it as the immediate cause the immediate cause let me use a different color so that you could get the difference this one we are referring to it as the immediate immediate we get there so that you could see very well the immediate immediate cause of the war when austria declared war on serbia that became the spark of the first world war it's for example when you're having a matchstick you have a matchstick on the side it is rough you have a, a matchstick that is rubbed right that is ready to, to 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 light fire 
the fire will not be there until you, you, you rub the matchstick on the match box. So the assassination of Franz Ferdinand became the immediate cause of the First World War. I want you to get that, my dear Lana. I want you to get that point very well. All these other, uh, all these other uh, causes, we have discussed them. The first, the formation of alliances, imperialism, Franco-Prussian war, the arms race, the first and the second uh, Moroccan crisis, uh, the non-nationalism of the Balkans, all were just uh, causes that fueled or that led to the, for, uh, to, to the First World War. But now, here is the difference. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand, who is referred to as the Archduke of Austria at that time, was the spark that started the, the war. All these other times, they are just uh, fighting against one another. It's like a cold war. They are just fighting, but they are not physically going into war. But once this man was assassinated, that now started the war, which now uh, we could now see now countries were marshalling up against one another. But that we are going to discuss in our last lesson when we look at the cause of the war. Now, since Austria has declared war, and I want you to remember, it was on 28th. Do not forget this date. It was on 28th of July 1914. They have, Austria has declared war on Serbia. So in our next class, we are going to look at what happened next after that. How did now the war progress to find that we have Germany, we, so far we have just mentioned Austria and Serbia. So how did the other nations come into fight? Because uh, now we said there are so many countries that were involved in the war. So my dear Lana, as we come to the end of our lesson today, we have been talking about the causes of the First World War, which I said was also referred to as the Great War. You can also call it World War I. Those are different words that can be used to describe the First World War. And I said there are seven reasons why the, fa the, 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 the First World War came to existence. The first one was formation of alliances. And you can be able to mention the alliances that we have discussed. Then there was imperialism, that is leading one country, exercising or extending their powers to other countries. And then number three, we talked of the Franco-Prussian War, where the French lost the oil, uh, the, 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 the iron-rich uh, provinces, that is Alsace and Lorraine, I've mentioned them. And then there was an arms race. Every country was running towards getting the superior weapons or becoming more uh, influential in terms of the uh, army. Then we have the first and the second Moroccan crisis. We discussed this uh, where uh, we had the British and the French discussing among themselves and the agreement they made angered the Germans. And then we have talked of nationalism of the Balkans, which was uh, disintegrating the Ottoman Empire. And then finally, the assassination of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand or the heir of the Austrian-Hungary Empire. This was the immediate cause or the immediate cause. What sparked the, the war? Remember, when all these things are happening, every nation is going about their business. But once this uh, man has been assassinated, it now became a full-fledged war. And in our next class, we are going to Look at how did the war progress. So as we end our lesson today, my dear Lana, I want to give you a very simple question from what we have just looked at. From what we have just looked at, I want to give you a very, a very, very simple question. Uh, you can just confirm from what uh, we have written on the board and what we have uh, uh, discussed. So I want to give you a revision question. A revision question. A revision question. And this is the question. Number one. State and explain. 
state and explain. So you have to state a point and then you give a brief explanation. State and explain. There is an I there. And explain the causes of the first first world war. We have already looked at that. I've given you seven reasons. So can you be able to remember them? So you go back to, your, to, 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 to the notes you have been taking. We have just mentioned all of them. Seven reasons. You have to state and then you have to explain. That is the question. So until our next lesson, it's bye-bye for now. Thank you for choosing to study with us. For more information, you can call us on 0724-173845.